Have you ever opened Godot and written something like this or this? And then you go and have a terrible idea, like doing this. And suddenly, this everywhere. In today's quick tip, we're going to teach Godot to look after our no paths for us. There are a couple of concepts that you need to understand. First of all, Godot has export variables. These are variables that we can define in code and we can set them from the editor. The second concept that you need to know is that there are node paths. This is a type of variable that you can use in place of strings to represent the path to a node. We can then set the variable in the inspector and Godot will suddenly keep track of that node path for us. If we now move this node, Godot is going to keep track of it for us and update our node path variable. If you're using C Sharp, the concept's the same, but instead of using an export keyword, you use the export attribute. We'll create ourselves a node path, replace the string, and now there's one slight difference. You don't see our updated variable. You need to build first. Now we can set our variable and it's the same as GDScript. Finally, to understand how Godot is keeping track of this, we'll open up the scene file, in this case in VS Code. If we have a look through here, you can see that our variable name and the node path are defined. If we move the node around, the path in the scene file gets updated. Same thing happens if you select a different node. So now we know how to get Godot to keep track of node paths for us. We can do away with all those horrible hard-coded strings. See you next time.